Alexander penetrates, pulls up just inside the foul line, and a nice looking shot there for the. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while for her team to understand what she wants to do. Now that's a nice run of the court there by the big. <laughs> Score the basketball early, and there is just their second field goal. And she's been a fun player to watch this year as a freshman. And Precious Hall with. <laughs> Complain, right? Exactly. Ashley Perez, I don't know that that was her intention, but it worked well. You can complain, right? Exactly. Ashley Perez, I don't know that that was her intention, but it worked well. Mickens from nearby. How much time was left? They could have organized a little bit better. Yeah. Precious Hall took a little. How much time was left? They could have organized a little bit better. Precious Hall took a little. Go to low post, and usually you'll find Lauren Okafor there to kind of hit the ball in, but they've disrupted that a little bit. Ashley Perez. <laughs> Jiggets over the top, looking for Okafor, and she'll score it. Jiggets with an assist. She wears number 11. She has the ball in her hand. She's not going to hesitate. She oh. shoots. How about that? She comes in and seven. Hopefully this will give them a little something going into halftime that they can really go off of. Well, the answer is... <laughs> Bounds to Guafney, foul line, good. The inbounds to Guafney, foul line, good. Cutting and nicely laid up, well execution. Current, I believe those are her first points. It tonight. was, yep, and Okafor the opposite end. Quick to answer. <laughs> It's uh, Drexel. Can't get any closer. And that'll open it up. Two and a digits, uh, Drexel. Can't get any closer. And that'll open it up. Two and a <laughs> to 33% on three pointers. Thompson, wide open look there. Against the Huskies of Northeastern. Mickens manufactures that field goal. Game against the Huskies of Northeastern. Mickens manufactures that field goal. Up a seven point Madison lead. Pearson three pointer, that's Ooh. good. She's starting to warm it up a bit. <laughs> Very strong move for Okafor, and one is the coming. That's where her size 
Liz just comes into advantage in her wingspan. She's just so much harder to stop. Backdoor cut again. Lidge is good at doing that. She understands that play. Ashley Perez with a three. <laughs> to the basketball. Here comes Mickens. Up and under. Oh, my goodness. Angela Mickens. <laughs> Open up the game a little bit here if they can shoot free throws. Defensively or offensively. And that goes a lot towards their strength and conditioning coach, who is Greg Warner. Spot track there for a second. Jiggets inside. Okafor, two hands it up. <laughs> who is that? Just does not look like the same player. Up and under, Precious Hall gets the roll. Fifth. He's for Guasmi. Here's Jiggets. Jiggets, nice finish for the former Lake Taylor Titan. He's for Guasmi. Here's Jiggets. Jiggets. Nice finish for the former Lake Taylor Titan. Uh, a chance to play a little professional football. He was also named yesterday JMU's Defensive Player of the Year. He, a chance to play a little professional football. He was also named yesterday JMU's Defensive Player of the Year. He was. Jasmine Gwathney as I look on the sideline there. Is she Presence on Twitter. Yeah, he's pretty she busy there. Some mentions. Wow, that was pretty oh, fancy. Wow. Aspects of her game. Just not ready to play at this level yet. And even though you can give yourself a, a little what the Dragons typically surrender, and the Dragons... They average 57 points, so a little bit, a uh, little bit both ways. Opens up what is a 15 point. James rebounds, and only one dragon in double figures. That was Pearson as she finished with 10. We'll take a look at uh, some of our highlights of this game recap.